too. All right, here we go. So you know the deal, right? Step number one, write the place value. And you know where to stop. So I'm gonna go ones place and then eights, right? Because it's times eight, times eight, that's 64. Times eight, what's that? One, two, eight, two, three, five. So five, twelve times eight. I need my calculator. I don't know. Five, twelve times eight, forty, ninety six. Oops, I'm on the wrong side here. Forty, ninety six. So that's too big, right? That's bigger than my number. Stop at the highest less than your number. So we stop at the highest one, less than your number, so 512. So we're stopping at 512. And then let's keep going. Step number two, you divide, you know the drill, the number divided by the highest place. So our number, 2738, divided by the highest place. The highest place is 512. So we start at the highest place. 512, use your calculator. We're basically saying, how many 512s? Are you getting it? Does this start to feel right? We're saying, how many 512s go into our number? How many 512s can we use in our number? So 2738 divided by 512. I'm getting 5.34, blah, 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 blah. Throw away, throw away the decimal, put the five right there five we need five 512 right 512 goes in there more than five times so we need five whole 512 in our number 2738 <clears throat> you know the next step now you um you take the whole number times the place so that's going to be five times 512 you're saying how much is five 512 so that's what this is saying, right? It's five, 512. So how much is that? Well, that's 2560. And then you subtract from the number, don't you? Because you're saying, okay, we're, we're using five, 512. How much does that leave us? So 2738, we've already, already represented 2560, right? By putting a five in the 512 place, Five five hundred and twelve represents twenty five sixty. We have to represent the whole twenty seven thirty eight. We've already represented twenty five sixty by putting five in the five twelve place. And so, what does that leave us to go? I'm looking at my calculator saying one seventy eight left to go. So we still have to represent one hundred and seventy eight more. So then we just keep going with the same deal, right? We divide what's left by the next place value. So we're going on down to the 64's place, right there. Let's divide that. So I'm gonna take uh, 178 that's left, divide by the next place value 64. On my calculator, I'm getting 2.78125, throw away the decimal, grab the whole number, 264. So you know the drill whole number times the place. So what's that? That's gonna be two times the place value, 64 is 128, and then subtract from what was left. So what was left, make that a little better. Subtract from what was left, so what's left, was 178, right, 178 left minus the 128 leaves a clean 50. So, all right, now we got 50, do it again. Divide what's left by the next place. So we've got 50 left divided by, what's the next place? The eighth place down to the eight place <clears throat> divide by eight calculator telling me 6.25 6.25 6 
Uh, throw away the decimal, grab the whole number, bring it on up. There it goes, six. All right, and then same drill. Whole number times the place. In other words, what is six in the, um, what place is the eighth place? Six in the eighth place, because that's what this is, isn't it? This is six in the eighth place. So what are six eighths? That's a 48. And then you subtract from the number left. So we go, okay. <clears throat> what do you have left right there? 50. 50, let's subtract 48. That leaves two for the last spot, two left. So in the last spot, we put a two, and there it is. There's the number in base eight, five, two, six, two in base eight. There we go on that one. Five, two, six, two. I'll, just, I'll leave these last steps right here. Maybe I can, yeah, that can leave kind of like the whole thing right there on the screen.